they love each other in such an aggressive way that it becomes possession. And it's not to, it's not either of their fault. It's not to anyone's fault because it's not a bad thing. They just like don't want anyone else to be a part of it, which I think is kind of romantic. So if a woman or a man or anyone tries to jeopardize that or tries to um, mess with it at all, then, you know, she will put them in their place. He, you know, starts out obviously with like the power and all the control and then it kind of ebbs and flows throughout the end and then it's sort of Anna who ends up in his position, not necessarily with the, you know, dominant aspect, but definitely with the, with perhaps a bit more power. If we didn't get along, it would have been so heartbreaking because you truly, I think, it, the reason why we have a special relationship on screen is because we have an even more special relationship off screen. You rarely find a young woman explore a relationship with a man with, you know, whilst becoming herself and, and figuring out what it is she wants to do with her life, with her career, and then also with her body in a, in a sexual way and being um, brave and, and honest and adventurous. And I think that in the third film, in Freed, it's a kind of a beautiful, uninhibited, equal sexual relationship. I think it refers to both of them. Um, I think it refers to Christian perhaps letting go of the trauma and pain that he's harbored his whole life. And I think it's also Anna, you know, allowing herself to have the desires and curiosities that she does.